Good morning! Coming freshly out of the shower. Um, it's weekend and before I can start with my new life as a professional artist, um, I have to clean my room. It's an absolute mess. I don't know if it's a good idea to share this with you, but let's go for it. <laughs> Oh well, it's actually embarrassing to show this to you, but um, it's gonna work out. So I will make this, turn this into a nice looking room. Um, yeah, there are things just everywhere. And the last days I just threw everything into my room without caring about anything because I... Yeah, there was actually a lot to do still. <laughs> I mean, most of the time I was painting the small paintings for my colleagues as a goodbye gift, so... Um, yeah. There was actually not so much time. Maybe that is just an excuse. Uh, anyways, let's get some music and get started. I thought about moving things a bit around because this is usually my painting area here. But usually the sun comes and it's directly this direction, so that I have like different kinds of shades on my painting, which makes it a bit difficult to see what I'm actually painting. Uh, so I will move it to the other side. And I think it looks so much better and made my room so much bigger. The thing I struggled with the most during my first days was actually to find my daily routine. I made myself a schedule about what to do when, so I don't come to that point where I don't know what to do next. But pretty soon I had to realize that I wasn't able to keep that plan or keep up with the plan. So this is how far I came today, basically just the sketch that I did in the morning and then some basic color like first layers um, I also started to paint the feathers here at the back yeah I'm a bit behind the schedule that I um, made myself yesterday this also includes editing for my latest and actually first vlog video which took much longer than I expected. Yeah, well, fail number one today. Uh, I kind of forgot that I have to download the pictures and videos of my camera, of the SD card, first to my computer before I can edit them uh, for the YouTube video. So what's going on for a while? Like, I don't know how long it will take. It takes so long. Then the next time when I wanted to work on the video editing again, my computer suddenly got broken. It didn't want to start at all anymore. So I kinda had to figure out what to do next. 
it's ridiculous how much I knew about computers. Like, nothing at all. That's definitely a thing I can improve, I think. But thanks God, there's Google. So after a lot of reading and testing, I ordered a new power supply and then I had to wait. Well, that was then actually more time for painting. felt like ages until the new power supply arrived, even though it were just a few days. And with my perfect computer skills, not, <laughs> I was hoping so much that I actually ordered the right replacement part. After a bit of testing and taking my whole computer apart. Yeah, look at this, it actually works again. So I finally got to upload this small video. Another thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is working alone all the time. I slowly get used more to my daily routine and tasks and I absolutely love being able to spend that much time on being creative and doing the things I really want to do. But a thing that this profession doesn't offer, at least for me right now, are colleagues and a nice team to work with. Staying at home for so long makes me feel a bit lost at the end of the day and not being able to have those nice little chats with colleagues in between lets loneliness sink in sometimes. But I have an awesome boyfriend who gets me out of there every time. Can you hear this? Are you ready for some German tradition? Well, let's find out about what it is. If you figured it out, yes, there are cows. In fact, a lot of them. That's an event happening every late summer called Viehscheid. The young cows spend all summer on the mountains to get strong. And now it's time for them to go back to the warm and safe stable for the colder days of the year. Down in the valley the cows are separated and giving to their owners again. Probably it's a little stressful situation for the cows and I guess the big crowd of people didn't help out that much. But I saw farmers that were really gentle to the cows calming them down and then taking them home. For the people instead it's a big celebration. They had everything you associate with the typical German culture. The traditional clothes, heavy food and even some breast band. With some mad yodeling. I'm still a bit torn apart if this big of a festival is necessary regarding the cows. But I hope in exchange to have the huge fresh mountain meadows all summer long. This is an acceptable exchange. Me for myself, I just got this. <laughs> on the market there. Isn't it super cute? It's actually made for children, but I think it's just about right for me. I just came back from running and I actually saw a real wildlife kingfisher. They are so rare and I'm just so happy to see one. And I guess that's a sign that I should like really finish this kingfisher painting today. With all these splashing colors and several flying birds, this painting has a lot of movement. Which I wanted to achieve, of course, to show this natural roughness, while at the same time it transfers a feeling of enormous power and freedom. But I felt like this painting gave a little too much of an unsettled feeling, which was actually a bit confusing for the viewer. So for the last step I decided to give the eye something to hold on to. And what could be better than giving the viewer some straight lines to follow along? That's how the Golden Triangle was born. The 
don't know if this will hold here. It kind of seems to not stick really to the metal leaf. Yeah, we will see how it looks after it dried tomorrow. It's time for the big reveal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check out the painting. I hope it works. Kind of feels like I'm picking a present. I'm a bit excited. Look at this. It actually worked. To take the photo for posting on social media, I decided this time to go outside because I felt like having this painting outside in the nature would just complement it pretty well. It was actually nice, some people came by and we had a little chat, talked about the painting, which of course made me happy. So it was absolutely the right decision to go outside, even though it felt a bit weird first with all the people looking at me with my huge painting in my hand and all the stuff I carried along. Now, looking at it, the painting still has this powerful energy, but more in a control balance way. I love all these colors appearing out of the dark, splashing into every direction without anything holding them back. Just like the beautiful colorful birds flying out of them. Then this shiny gold which makes you feel safe and sound like everything will work out as it should. I just love this positive vibes this painting spreads around and I hope I was able to give some of them to you too. I had a dream, the sun was shining all on your face. And not mine too In our favorite place